This is the IA Podcast, now recommending all of our patients to not listen to our recommendations. Today on the podcast, Overwatch news, the new map is live in the PTR, the Bastion short was, you know, pretty awesome, and more somber news. And apparently I'm going into space for some reason, I'm not really sure, but uh, our good friend Sho talks about being drunk while playing TF2, and, you know, just our regular hijinks, like, <laughs> stuff you should probably stick around for. In any case, what did I say? That's right, stick around. It should be a good one. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. Today is episode 16 for August the 24th, 2016, 1100 hours, and... Police Davidon! <laughs> Police Davidad! Police Davidad! And Deus! And Deus Ex Mas! Y'all are nerds. <laughs> it's gonna be all the clipping, but I'm so glad you ended up doing that. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. So and I already clip. <laughs> oh, you clip all the time, basically. Oh, that's um, bad. I should actually try moving my microphone further away from my mouth. Okay, should. I mean, that might, that might be nice for, you know, the whoever's listening in on this. But, yeah, so, I mean, we're back, you know, on schedules. This is Sort of-ish. Yeah, that sure. was my like, fault. We're a day late. It, well, no, I mean, yeah. No, recording. I mean, like, we're, we're, yeah, like, I mean, we're somewhat getting better at this, I feel. So. Yeah. We're only 24 hours behind because Shro is a bad sleepy cat. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? I mean, I've done much worse, so it's... it's, it's Dude, I yeah. slept all... Oh, day yesterday like i i slept through the podcast <laughs> i was up for a few hours i took a nap in the middle of the afternoon again and my mom did too because like my dad's he's at the doctor right now and so we had some big major prep thing to do so my mom slept and fell asleep too to the point where we forgot that i left my dog outside because she it, the weather is great and she loves to just sit on a deck we have a ground level deck so we let her sit out on the deck for a few hours when the weather is good because she fucking loves it. Yeah, well, we fell asleep, so she spent like six hours outside. Wow. She fucking loved it. She passed out for the rest of the day. <laughs> but she, when I finally went to get it, she's like, she's sitting or laying on our table. We have a table out there, and she just jumps on it and lays up there as like her perch. And she looks just like, oh, thanks for remembering, I'm out here. <laughs> like, yeah. So, um, so yeah, but then, and then I still time. went to bed again at like 11. I, I just spent the whole fucking day sleeping. I was really mad about it. I had wow. so much to do. That's like a whole day wasted in, like of not gaming. It, yeah, I, I think I played like 10 minutes of Rocket League. That was it. <laughs> That's it? That's horrible. That's oh, weird. and I checked Pokemon Go. Kind of oh, stalled okay. out in that game. <laughs> Things don't show up in my area anymore. I think I'm too high level. I have to go explore now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Though I did uh, take same doggy on a really long walk and mm -hmm. caught some things with Pokemon Go. So that was, that was you know, nice. a thing. And then we ran across the highway and got <laughs> cheese sticks. Just randomly ran across the highway. Well, by highway, I mean just the local interstate that is actually only 25 miles an hour road that my <laughs> house that I, that, well, not my house lives on it, but the road that I live on is connected to this larger road that runs through the center of town, so, and it eventually turns into a highway if you go far enough. Okay. There's a logic here. There's a logic somewhere in there, but tell us, uh, Dude Run, what have you been playing this week? Uh, Overwatch, and oh, Overwatch. a few Overwatch. other games for YouTube, such as Octodad. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I watched Finally that last that. night. That was great. <laughs> I know. So I think I'm learning. I have a strange respect for you, dude, and your ability to play those physics games that are just basically 3D uh, Happy Wheels. I, oh, I, I don't know either. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, this is painful enough to watch. Like, if I had to do this, it, the, the amount of nope would be too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going through that now too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so I mean, that, it seems fun. I mean, I whenever this game first came out, I always heard some great things about it. You know, I just I never got around to playing it. Hilarious. It's on the uh, Humble Bundle now, so if you want it, now's your chance to get Perfect. it. Perfect. You know what? I think I might have actually purchased that Humble Bundle, which I like a few days ago, so I might already okay. have it. I Good. have to go back and check, but yeah. Actually, speaking of Humble Bundle, don't mean to interrupt there. I just checked this morning. They have a PlayStation and Capcom bundle going on with nice. a bunch of Street Fighter and Okami and Planet Three or Planet Side um, or something or Planet. I don't even remember what the fuck it was, but holy shit, it's an amazing fucking bundle for like fifteen bucks for everything or less, depending on how much. Because it's you know the pay what you want model, so you can get a bunch of stuff for like fifty cents if you want. Nice. I haven't bought a bundle recently, but I'm like, holy shit, I might whip the credit card out for that one. <laughs> you might whip it out. Yeah, if only one of these games was for PC, I would totally spend a dollar on it. Same here. And that particular game is Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I want Wait, that game. Wait, aren't these all for PC? No, no for PS3 PC and PS4. Wait, I thought these were like ports. No. No, it, no. no, I don't have a PS3. That's why I was so excited well, about this, is that I could finally play these games. No, well, man. Shro's a noob who can't read the list. <laughs> like, under every game, it tells you whether it's for... Yeah, the redeem PS3 on or PlayStation. PS4. God damn it! Yep. No. Well, Shro wasted money. GG. No. Did you actually... Wait, did you actually purchase these already? No, I was okay. going to uh, later today, and that's oh, why okay. I brought it out. Oh damn it! Well, you would have found so out then, or you would have found out now, so... Yeah, okay, well, we get to watch Shro go through, like, the stages of grief and denial <laughs> right on the podcast. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. You can buy the Humble Indie Bundle with Octodad and Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Yeah, and other games. I have bought so many Indie Bundles, though. For, I, I mean, I still probably haven't even played over half of the Indie Bundles that I bought from Humble. I, I was an early supporter of Humble before they had their own crazy website and everything. Or crazy right, I remember front, those I mean. days, like when they had their first Humble Bundle. And it yeah, was we got this game. idea for a Humble Bundle, and a bunch of guys let us run their games for low prices, and we're going to donate half the shit to charity or whatever. Or really, you get to decide. Oh okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Here, have money. <laughs> Famous people <laughs> have lots of money. <laughs> Holy fuck, guys! We have a lot of money now. We should keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and yeah, that's so much it what it's become. That's basically. Oh, they got Trine Three. Sure, you could buy that for us. Trine Three. Trine Three. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like, wait, are you trying to tell me something here? <laughs> trying. Trying to tell you. They Those should try buy hard. all three of us Trine Three, and we should play it together. I don't even know what Trine is. I think I actually have Trine. Is it sad that I just said I don't know what it is, but it I think I have is, it? It is, yeah. Yeah. It <laughs> is. Not kind gonna of, lie. Yeah. It's a platformer game where it's three players that can be online or local or whatever, and it's co-op, and you got to explore trying to find this object called the Trine. The I trine. do not actually have trine, trine, but I think it might be on my wish list. It's a fun little platformer. One character is a wizard who makes boxes. This. Holy shit, this is expensive. The box making right. wizard. On the Humble Store, it's $5. Got it. I was going to say, Trine 3 is $22. Yeah, go to the um, Humble Store. It's DLC cheaper. is like 15 Trine 2 is 20 I don't actually see plain old Trine. Oh, I can get the Trine demo for free. That's cool. Well, that's something. Um, yeah, I don't actually... <laughs> for some reason, there's the Trine demo, but no actual Trine. <laughs> it should be and there. Well, wait, no. You gotta I, dig. This Trine Enchanted Edition. I wonder if that's the base game with like yeah. some sort of expansions included. Cool. Artifacts of Power. They've really upped to the uh, the art style on the cover for the game. I probably shouldn't spend money though. Yeah, probably a good idea to not do that. 
Bro is still that. the unemployed, and the money is going away the fast. Although, Ow. if you do yeah. end up uh, subbing for their Humble Monthly, you do get 10% off of any Humble Store purchases. That's true, but so you get Bro is even, even less discount capable discount of supporting a subscription. Even more money. So. Or you could this wait around for another daily well. deal, which is probably a lot more than ten percent off of any of a particular game on the list. So, oh my, is that there? Mm -hmm. I actually ended up buying this um, this humble bundle a few days ago. I thought it was the Octodad one, but it wasn't. It was like some kind of like a, um, like some space one or something, and it had this game that was like think like. Civ or Sim City or Age of Empires, you know, like a city building game, but mm -hmm. you were, but it was on in space. So like you'd go to different planets and you'd set up like very like you know kind of like space stations and stuff like that. It was actually kind of cool. I played it for about uh, an hour or so, but yeah, it was definitely worth the fifteen bucks. Hmm. But it was the only game I really ended up playing out of the bundle. I should actually try the other ones. You know what else I want to buy that I'll never be able to afford, and is actually I'm pretty sure not mechanical, so that makes it bad. Is that? Uh, for, would you for like the to listeners? Oh. This is the um, uh, the Maximus Popularis keyboard, which is their newer version of the Maximus, and. It's one of those keyboards that's like a thousand dollars because every every key is a digital display in high resolution. Oh wow! So you can make it say anything. You need a language. You need a keyboard that's multiple languages. Cool. Click a button. Any language you want. You need a keyboard that has all of the macro keys and key combos for Photoshop or GIMP. Cool. Launch the program and it'll do that. You, you, you want a keyboard that gives you like up to date stock information, the weather, and how soon you need to pee? Sure, it can do that too. So if I want a key that says dicks, I can just and you can make it to that, Pornhub. Make one of those keys do that. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. I can make a rage quit key. <laughs> well, that's already built into every keyboard. It's called Alt F4. True, I could make a button say Rage Quit and then just press that and then it's gone and then I'm out. <laughs> then I'll find a way to make that button your, like, mouse one button. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to play the game, but every time I go to shoot somebody, it, cra it crashes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the one that I ended up getting was... um the survive this bundle and basically it has like planet based that was the game i was telling you about the one that uh, uh, you know you build your yeah you base you build a base on a planet it's pretty go figure i know right there's this other one called uh shelter 2 which seems like a pretty good one and also shelter oh my god it's like a love shelter <laughs> and also it actually included rust as well Ooh. which Ooh. uh is a game i've been wanting to try out for a while so dude hit up raniere on that shit he loved oh. rust Definitely will. And uh, Space Engineers. Yay! So, yeah, it's got a... You know, th those are just four of the seven that were on there. And yeah, it's a pretty good bundle. Was Factorio on there? Factorio sounds like one of the games that would be on there. Um, no, it had Colot, K-H-O-L-A-T, Savage Lands, and Tharsis. Those were the other ones. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I was like, because I'm excited because somebody gifted me Factorio, and then we discovered that my uh, half-baked computer at the moment could not play Factorio, <laughs> because despite being a 2D game, it requires 512 megabits... Bigot. <laughs> Bad trope. Um, 512 megabytes of uh, video RAM, and the old graphics card that I'm currently using only has 320. <laughs> Which is also why I can't play Deus Ex Mankind Divided despite having the game, because I need to be able to run DirectX 11. Because of reasons. Yeah, you need to get your uh, PSU back. It's on its way. The new one is on yes. its way. It shipped like two hours ago. Yes. Excited. And then you need to put it all in. This is also now the rush point for, like, everything in my life, because I need to get everything done before the power supply shows up, because when it does, I suddenly 
accomplish nothing in the world again. <laughs> <laughs> I plug yeah, in the it. big wire into my net, and I start drooling, and it's just... Shro's gone. Things never happen after that. And then Shro's part of the Matrix. So that is exactly. totally the plot line. <laughs> Uh, then he'll spend all his time just, you know, playing games on TF2. Yeah. So, you never know. Yeah. No, Thank Bush, you. I did not want you to take a thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Shall we get into some gaming news now that we've oh, discussed a lot of... <laughs> yeah, we have discussed a lot of, like, random stuff. Yeah, let's... Yeah. let's but hey, it was, it was on top in gaming news. And, yes. speaking of Deus Ex Mankind Divided, that did launch yesterday, I've heard pretty good reviews of it. The only downside I've heard, really, is that it's a little less um, Deus Exy than, you know, the original game. And so they still haven't quite hit that mark. I don't know if it's more on point or less on point than the Human Revolution reboot. Mm -hmm. Um that launched a few years ago. Um, I really enjoyed Human Revolution, um, despite it not being as Deus Ex in style. It still hit a lot of the same buttons, um, and it's just a very well-executed game, I think, uh, for all the options you get and the world-building that they put around it, and they still don't hold back some punches on it. Um, I guess one of the concerns that some reviewers have pointed out is that um, Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a follow-up to Human Revolution, which the ending uh, of the plot for Human Revolution was that uh, the augmented citizenry um, unknowingly had a virus implanted into their augmentations, and because the augmentations are neurally linked, the virus actually could hijack the nervous system. And so what happened is that the creator, the father scientist of human prosthetics and augmentations, uh, felt that he had created something bad, that it was being used for bad intentions and wanted to show the world this. And so he, active he created the virus and then activated it, which literally caused the augmented population to go psycho. And for... The uh, minutes to hours that it took your protagonist character to shut down the virus node. Um, Adam Jensen is that guy. Mm -hmm. That it, it um, like a million people died across the planet. Wow. So it was this huge event in human history. And because of it, and because of the dangers proposed by it, even though it had been theoretically shut down and then safeguards put in place, was then it caused this whole kind of segregation thing. Uh, think like class warfare and racial segregation, kind of an idea where augmented people are seen as less than human, and so it's like augs have to use this bathroom and regular humans go to this one kind of thing. Like They didn't pull any punches on this, and then they went so far as to even kind of accurately, I actually support them using this, um, the word apartheid, which is in direct reference to how South Africa was for decades, mm -hmm. in that um, the black and white seg er, populations were literally physically separated from each other. So there was like the black city and the white city, and that is a extraordinarily gross simplification of what happened there. So please don't uh, try to lynch me for that, <laughs> but that is the really gross simplification. And so the fact that uh, they brought up that part in history, because that's not the case anymore. Uh, the apartheid is over, mm -hmm. but um, they they kind of brought up this really big social aspect of like we could be revisiting this kind of thing in human future, as this is a you know future tense sci-fi game, um, and trying to you know, revisit that social issue, and I guess they just didn't focus on it as much as they could have, despite 
how much the trailers focus on it and the fact that they were very upfront that yes we're going to take on this crazy social issue mm -hmm. um and reviews just are like yeah they it's there but it's not front and center like you expect it to be so that's a little sad but i haven't gotten to play it yet because my graphics card can't run direct x11 so i'll get back to you <laughs> cool but yeah deus ex i love it i'm a crazy person for it. It's also one of the reasons that I love trench coats, and I just got a trench coat! Awesome. Yeah! I'm kind Milestone. of excited for the winter. <laughs> oh my god, it's a good trench coat, though. It's, um, it's a spin-off line from London Fog, who makes really fucking good trench coats that are like $150 plus. Mm -hmm. And they are actually imported from the UK, at least I'm pretty sure. Um... So, but yeah, no, I got it as a hand-me-down off Craigslist for 50 bucks, and it's in great condition. Nice. I'm excited. It's even one of the ones with, like, the removable winter liner and mm -hmm. everything. So it has, it's, like, super heavy. I need to install more pockets on it, though, because I'm like, you can't have a trench coat that only has two pockets. I need to have, like, 17 pockets. Yeah, what's up with that? You know, like, how can It's you actually have, like... pretty common that, like, really good coats don't have enough pockets. And I'm like, ah, I need to fix this. <laughs> Um, you need to get luckily, in contact with a certain really Overwatch easy. hero. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of the overbutts. Yes. Overbutts has lots of butts. Well, it does, quite this glorious is, butts. This is very accurate. It does have a lot of butts. It does. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, there's a lot of asses on Overwatch just being trolled. The figurative and the literal. B both kinds, yes. <laughs> both kinds. We prefer the literal asses, though. They're, they're the finest. Yes, they are the finest, and sometimes the shiniest for some reason. Yeah, I don't get that. That that reflection effect, yo. Yo, that's where it's at, man. <laughs> 2016, it's all about the butt reflections. Zenyatta is a very shiny person. <laughs> We're gonna, like, discuss that. Indeed. Robo butt reflection. <laughs> But yeah, no, 2016 is all about tell, the... But tell us about... <laughs> Stop talking about the butts and talk about the game! <laughs> exactly, tell us... That uh, is the game! Tell, <laughs> well, tell, us about, tell us Overwatch, about, um, Overwatch, butts 2016. That's the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, the new map, Eichenwald. The, like, German map that has been hinted at. Or not hinted at, but like shown on YouTube and at GamesCon. That is live in the public playtest game. Oh, I really? have a phone call. I'm going to have to ignore it because I don't know what the number is. Anyway. Wait, it should be a telemarketer and you should put them on the podcast. No. <laughs> I don't do it, 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 do it. No, I'm not doing it. Anyway. Fine. The new map is live. On the PTR, it's fucking awesome. Brian, you should get the PTR client and play with me sometime. Maybe. Seriously. I might. I might no, just... not maybe. Seriously, do it. <laughs> not maybe. <laughs> it's, this needs to happen. Needs to By happen the way, you right didn't right know now. you had a cho no choice in this matter. <laughs> Apparently, no, I do not have a choice in the matter, so I'm just going to start installing it right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Take a shot. Or is it take a shot when anyone says awesome, or is it just whenever. Throw surprise says. time! Okay. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so it's installing, you know, like six and something gigabytes later, I'll be uh, I'll be on the PTR. Yay! Awesome. So what's the surprise, Shro, that you just Ooh, said? That burns. Oh, you're taking a shot. Okay. I actually have a bottle of shitty rum <laughs> and oh a God, shot no. glass. <laughs> okay. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm taking half shots. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I love the P. I love the new map. It's you love fucking the awesome. <laughs> I love the P. <laughs> Just because my rum looks pee. like piss. <laughs> the new map is awesome. I love it. Uh, takes place in Germany. There's a new Reinhardt skin coming out in the in PTR. Sweet. It's fucking awesome. And that's what, all I really what, have to what, say. What about the new, wait, like, there's uh, what does the new skin look like? Uh, it's based on a skin 
for a crusader. So like what Reinhardt? It's a it's one of Reinhardt's armor, so a crusader skin. Oh, okay, nice. It, this particular skin is in the new map okay. at the very end of the payload destination. So if you want to see what that is, you can either find a video or you can play the PTR with me, Brian. Play the freaking PTR, Brian. Do it. Yes. That's going to happen. Yes. It's going to happen. Do the thing, Brian. Yes. Do it. Do the thing with the Well, all right then. Do all the things. So, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. I'm really stoked. Anything that has to do with Overwatch, I'm always there. And, um,. I prestiged yesterday. Awesome. So that's something that happened. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations. What did you oh, get in that you, loot box? You. I did not open it, actually. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> minute. You should open it right now on the podcast. No, well, I'll I talk mean, about the to... Bastion shirt, and then you can open that and then find out what was in the loot box. Brian, okay. you have <laughs> literally no choice in this matter. We've made okay. up your mind for you. Open the game. <laughs> I guess it's happening now. Here I am. I'm launching the okay. game. Okay. All right. So the Bastion short came out on the eight, the sixteenth or the eighteenth. I don't uh, remember. All I okay. remember is I'll say eighteenth for 18. lack of a choice. Okay, yeah. Bastion short came out on the eighteenth. It premiered live on the on GamesCon twenty sixteen. That was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I was not expecting Gosh. a feels trip. <laughs> I was it expecting really was, honestly, like yeah, um, yeah. No, sorry. Go ahead. I, I wasn't expecting a feels trip of the bird variety. Burb. <laughs> oh uh, my god. It was like really well done. It really was. Yeah. Very pretty. It really was. Yeah. Also, I just have to summarize it. PTSD robot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why it goes crazy and turns into a tank, you know, so and yeah. kills everything. It's a PTSD. I like that the little bird survived. I forget his name. I don't know. I also forget it, how to pronounce it, so we call it someone's going to have to like, <laughs> yeah, it's put a, a pronunciation like, key. I mean, it's, a, it's not like in, in World of Warcraft where like the bird's name is Pepe, you know? Like, that's easy. <laughs> Pepe? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, they Can have you tell I've never played WoW? Well now. <laughs> yeah, see, I, we know you've never played WoW. Now that uh, Fire Tits McGee is playing it, you know, I feel like we should probably, you know, try to see if about uh, giving it a try, Shro. Just saying. Or you could uh, join me I in a private server that, that has, like, Burning Crusade or Lich King. There you go. That could work. We wouldn't have to pay money and we get a WoW experience. We would get Maybe. a WoW experience on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let me open up this loot box. Okay. All right. I have actually four loot boxes that I haven't opened because, you know, when you press Siege, it's like you go back to level zero. So then yeah. you accumulate loot boxes fairly quickly again for a few levels. So that's what happened. So let me okay. open this up. All right, here we Number go. Number one, we got. There's a blue one and three. We okay. So everything is a duplicate except for a Genji spray. Oh. All right, let's okay. go for another one. Genji Number spray. two. Number two. There is a purple and the blue. And the blue is a Roadhog player icon. Oh, actually, none of these are duplicates. All right, Lucio spray. I have a Soldier 76 spray and a Widowmaker emote, which is the Widow's Kiss. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, All right, we got two more. Number three. Number three. Uh, just one blue one. And how many duplicates? Two duplicates. And one of them is a Diva skin, which is actually, it's, it's not a, like a... It's not like an epic one or a legendary anything or a rare one, but it's anyway. just a recolor. It is a it, recolor, but yeah, okay. you know, it's, it's fine. I, I play Diva quite a bit, so and a purple and number blue. four. All right, so I have a new Hanzo skin, although it's a it's it's not a reskin. It's just a color. Yeah, it is a reskin. So um, that's all right. I got it. Two, one duplicate. I got a Genji spray, and I got 150 currency. Currency. Okay. Wait, yeah. what the hell is that for? I didn't know this Two, game. You can uh, <laughs> buy other skins, emotes, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you don't. So if you have throw game. more money at the game option. <laughs> well, you can't purchase currency straight out. You can only purchase loot boxes. You get currency for getting duplicates of skins, icons, and emotes and stuff you already have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes just through the loot box. So, right. so right now I have eighty five hundred currency, 
<laughs> and nothing uh, I really want to spend it on. Well, so. when the new patch goes live, I'm sure you could, like, throw out a, some sitting emotes. All the sitting emotes. Wait, is that actually happening? Like, sitting emotes? That's in the PTR now. Okay. Wow, I really need to get into this PTR and see what's yes, happening. Yes, you do. Then we have more to talk about. This is true, yeah. Well, it's downloading right now, so, like, you okay, know, good. Give, give it time. Give I, it I'm time. going to, but, like, all the new stuff is on there. And yes. it's, like, talking points and stuff. Yeah, so we definitely need to do that. Yes. All right. So, anything else about Sombra that we should know? Uh, lots of things. <laughs> tell me, A lot tell of things me, have me, happened me, since me, we me, last me, talked me. about it and now. And I don't know how to word the rest of it. Apparently, the tracer code has not been solved yet. And I don't know why. Apparently, people just haven't figured out the password for whatever that code's supposed to be. Mm hmm. So, the, either Blizzard skipped over it, or there's still something in there. I don't know. All right, all right. But, recently, they, Sombra released a code in the shape of a skull. Ooh. And people really didn't know what to do with it for a while. I think... Am I on the right page here? Oh, yeah, I am on the right page. She, she sent a skull-shaped code which is on the wiki page I linked earlier. And then the phrase... I th I th actually... Yeah, and the phrase, It seems like you like these little games. Why don't we play a real one? And then about a week later, there was nothing. Hmm. Nothing had been figured out by the player base, or quote-unquote game detectives, as it were. <laughs> so they submitted a hashed image of Reaper... With text hidden in it saying, okay, we'll play a game, but give us something to play. And then, a couple days later, we get a forum post on the Battle.net site for Overwatch. That, by a person named Skycoder. And the title is in binary, and it translates to the number 23. Mm-hmm. When you click on the drop-down box, the little blue drop-down box on the on this forum post to like see information about this user, the page glitches out and kind of just goes fucking nuts, delivering a rehashed image of Reaper. Basically, a hashed image of the already hashed image of Reaper with extra text in it, and then it gives spits out an extra long bit of code. That I don't think has been solved yet. All right. It's hmm. oh my god. I still am gonna laugh and still be somewhat heartbroken if all of this is just one big ruse. Oh, well, we're, we're reading maybe more into it than we are. But yeah, that is definitely like I mean like exciting to see that you know how they're revealing this new character if they are revealing a new character. <laughs> but oh wait, no, I'm wrong. They have solved the the long ass code. It's a skull again. And after a lot of cleanup, it says, I promised you a game. I believe you game detectives would call it a trailhead. And then they provide a URL for an image linking to... And I'm going to link it into TeamSpeak here. This is Anna's medical records of the time she lost her eye. Ooh. And yeah. that That's about it. All right, all right. Well, damn. That's uh, kind of uh, intense. Yeah. I like that it's still animated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cool. All right, cool. Well, what else do we have to talk about for to, for this week? Well, Straw has a long list of things. That looks like somebody shot down their scope. Isn't she a rifle user? Yes. Mm-hmm. She was shot by another rifle user. Down the scope, it looks like. Yep. Ouch. Uh, what else is on my list? Because, yeah, there's a lot. Um, if you're not playing TF2 with us, you need to be, because last night it was Drunk Shro Night, and I'm probably going to do it again this weekend. So it was a fucking blast, Brian. Get there. I had no yeah, idea Brian. yesterday was, like, TF2 night. Yesterday was yesterday. not TF2. Saturday, night. man! Saturday. God damn it! Well, because you said yesterday. 
That you did, did say I? yesterday. Okay, well, okay. God damn it, Shro! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, uh, it, it was like me, Jag, and Dude, and I think that was really... Well, no, Kuda showed up for a while. Um, and... Somebody else outside the normal group, maybe? I could just be imagining that. I don't know. But yeah, drunk TF2. It's a good time. We haven't done that in forever. <laughs> then of all Definitely people, come on, Brian. You could be drinking with me. Oh, man. This needs to happen. Okay. We'll do that. Good. That was an easy convincing. <laughs> Just mention alcohol. It's like, done. <laughs> I'm there. Um, Brian, Saturday, alcohol. TF2, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> alcohol. Be alcohol. <laughs> writing it down on my schedule book. <laughs> It's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It just says alcohol for Saturday, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I'm getting drunk on Saturday somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All of Saturday. <laughs> all day. Yeah. 12.01 a.m. Saturday. It says an Saturday. all day event, so you know, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> all day event. There were for four bottles of brum. <laughs> Said exactly oh. like that. Then they're all gone. Oh, Speaking of drinking, yes. I think it was also Saturday night that brought up Old Man Henderson. Oh, How many God. of you played pen and paper games? I've done a, a few, but... Like D&D &D and yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Old Man Henderson is something that was posted on the... What was... Okay, you know 4chan, right? And how it had its different slash categories? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sorry, one how it is... Had? Well, okay, yeah, it still is there. Nobody's oh, okay. actually, like, really on 4chan, though, I feel like, anymore. Well, you know, I mean, it's an old thing that was, you know, fun, I guess, maybe back in the day. But nowadays, you know, they've moved on to something else. Reddit, you know, so. Right, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that. <laughs> um, no, so there was a category that I didn't even know back in the day existed called uh, Slash TG, i.e. Slash Table Games. Mm -hmm. And so this guy posted about his character because um, they were talking about derailing, which is, you know, what I do in the podcasts all the time and oh, go off on a time. random fucking tangent and derail the conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's where it was fitting here. And I also think that's what happened on TF2 night. <laughs> I, me or somebody had derailed crazy and we brought up old man handles. Hender, blah, 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 blah. Old Man Henderson. Mm -hmm. So there's a game called Call of Cthulhu, which is like D&D &D and World of Darkness um, in, you know, typical pen and paper, dice rolling, do the stuff uh, idea. But it's in the cthulhu S universe with, you know, your elder gods and incomprehensible things. And the Call of Cthulhu is known for making it so that Pretty much everybody dies by the end. You either die by going literally insane because there's a sanity mechanic and seeing all the horrors of the other realms and the Elder Gods and all that is just mind-shattering. Uh, so you usually just go insane. Or, you know, one of these monstrosities somehow kills you or, you know, you're killed by a cultist or, you know, your insane friend that, you know, saw something crazy and thinks you're now part of the demon has shot you or something. So, yeah, everybody dies. Old Man Henderson won Call of Cthulhu, which is a concept that doesn't exist. Hmm. Old Man Henderson won Cthulhu because he is a character that after their GM for the game, the guy running the game campaign, was a, quote, total faggot. Sorry, bad word, but quoting here. Uh, the guy was one of those that just, you know, makes bad shit happen to the party for no reason and, you know, randomly kills off characters with bullshit excuses and basically it's not fun. Right. So, I'm fun playing with those kinds of people. This guy uh, made Old Man Henderson as a new character who had a very specific amount of points and I'm going to read this little list. Old Man Henderson wore combat boots, cargo shorts, and an open front Hawaiian t-shirt with a white beater underneath. 
he was dyslexic and had a lesser care or lesser case of schizophrenia allowing him to assume that the reason he saw crazy shit every day was because he was in fact a little bit crazy he had a Grizzly Adams beard and wore his hair in a mohawk. He never took off his aviator shades for any reason. He had a stuffed parrot on his shoulder named Rupert that he constantly asked for advice while ignoring the other party members as convenient, assuming they were hallucinations. He had an automatic combat shotgun and he, know he knew how to use it. He had also memorized the anarchist cookbook. <laughs> he started the game with a pre-existing hatred of religion, cutlery, and books. His motivation was that he thought that the cult had stole his lawn mones. La wow. Lawn gnomes. Lawn gnomes. I can't speak. While he had actually donated them to a charity auction, got high, and completely forgot about it. Most importantly, and this is serious, he had a 320-page written backstory that justified everything, from his casual knowledge of physics to his ability to speak Portuguese flawlessly. Flawlessly. The point of having all this crazy nonsense and the threefold black or the long yeah read shro and having such a long backstory was threefold. One, to ensure the GM would never actually read it. Two, since he would never actually read it except for in excerpts when I pointed out things to justify what I'd just done, I could rewrite and change things around completely at random without anyone noticing. And most importantly, point number three convince everyone that I was totally serious about this character and that it wasn't simply the game-wrecking bullshit that it was. <laughs> <laughs> he then goes on to tell more about uh, the first instance of Old Man Henderson in his game, which is actually only two paragraphs, but I feel like I've derailed enough. So I s propose making a blurb about old man henderson for the next few podcasts because old man henderson is great and it lets me expose my nerdery for tabletop games and not just video games <laughs> sounds good yay you guys sound so depressed since i went on this tangent <laughs> oh i'm smiling dude <laughs> oh and i'm laughing obviously so I'm more of a facial expressor than I am a vo vocal expressor. That doesn't expressor. work when you're only bits of audio, dude! <laughs> well, then, fuck. Yeah, you damn right you better fuck. Fuck the bits of audio. Fuck oh. it. Fuck it sweetly. Okay, someone oh fuck the audio literally. I didn't mean you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, um, um, anything else that we want to talk about before we do wrap this up? Um, I heard dude had an experience with a fire alarm. Oh yeah, uh, this is a smoke detector, by the way. That's true. Apparently they're different things. They are. Yeah. Uh, the smoke detector in my parents' room mm -hmm. kept going off all of, for most of yesterday morning. I don't know why. No one else knows why. It's just, it just kind of went off. And so then what you're because saying that is your one parents went were generating too much smoke. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> They're secretly high, and I don't know. <laughs> they won't share. I mean, you did say it was around 4 a.m., so what you're telling me is your parents were 420 blazing it. Probably. Much, yeah. Or the <laughs> smoke detector was 420 blazing it. I don't know. Or there was just a lot of friction, not enough lube was used. A little bit of smoke. No. <laughs> no. I know what you're going at, but seriously, no, they it's didn't. Like, do dude, that. Like, don't don't let your parents ever listen, listen to the podcast, especially if I ever visit. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, hey, Mom and Dad, remember that Shro guy that's going to come visit? Well, this is him and I doing a podcast together. We mentioned you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, dudes. Totally Dad, what's the too. shotgun for? <laughs> I would totally do that, too. That just makes it sound like I'm trying to take you on a hot date and your dad's protecting me, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't it be funny if it would have been like... It is game. Virginia! <laughs> this is true. Not West Virginia, though. That's where that really... Yeah, we're on the eastern part of Maine, Virginia. So Hi, West Virginia, Virginia people that now hate me. I live in Ohio. We make fun of you all the time. <laughs> Along with I'm sure the there's like a few West States. Virginians who are like nodding and understanding of like, yeah, yeah probably. everything's everything's true, Shro. 
To be fair, Southeast Ohio is also basically West Virginia, so we kind of make fun of ourselves, too. <laughs> okay. I went to school around there. Yeah. Mm. But, um... What else did I have? Oh! Pro tip for everybody that wants to be a leak computer person. Go into your folder options in the control panel on Windows, because I know you use a Windows computer. And then... Go to the part where it says single click or double click and select single click. Your world has now changed. It's fucking great. All those times where you thought you double clicked something and it didn't work, they're gone. Those times where like you had to click something and you accidentally dragged the icon halfway across your desktop because you twitched or something. You know, that fly landed on you and you attacked it. Well and you can't find that file anymore, those are gone too now. Because now all you do is hi you hover your mouse over it, and it selects the file. I don't know why I was possessed to make this change, other than I was using a Linux distro like a week ago, and I was like, you know, this single-click thing is pretty fucking awesome. I wonder how I can do it in Windows. And then I figured it out. Holy that's, shit. That's always been an option, though. Yeah, but it's never default. Nobody ever thinks to do that. I think I ended up doing that one. Well, like, there was an option to do that back in the day that was fairly easy to get to. I have never really tried it because, like, you know what? I'm one of those people that, like, I like to click on my icons on my desktop for some reason. I mean, you just... still click on them. You just only click on them once now. But, and they open. Like, no, but I mean, like, you know, like, without opening them, you know, just to highlight them, you know? Like, I'm that kind right. of person. I mean, you I'm can still like, kind of do that. It's like, la, 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 la. Like, you know, whenever I'm, like, you know, just going into outer space or whatever. I'm just like, la la la, click, highlight all the icons. And if, if this was active, like I'd have like 15 billion windows open of the same thing. So <laughs> basically <it's>... my Firefox. <laughs> exactly. But it is a very neat thing to have, especially if like, you know, you're one of those people that just like completely hates double clicking things. So like Tro. So I'm, I'm learning a new world, man. A whole new world. So. A new fantastic point of view. Go oh, did we ever actually ex the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh. we ever actually explained Billy's Navi Dad. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> we did it. Or so Divi what, what, Dad. Divi Dad. Yeah. Navi yeah, that, Dad. No, that like, was... da you know what? It's because Navi is the dad, and then... Oh, God. No. No. Yes. No. We hey, need to listen, explain the mister. joke. It's happened. <laughs> Hey, Trump listen, spelled out right now. ASX, mankind divided as DXMN, and we, like, went to type it out, so we knew, like, what we were talking about. We're, we're talking about the Google Doc, by the way. He, yeah, in the Google, Google Doc, Doc he typed notes. it out, DXMN. We asked what MD. that was, and then he said, Deus Ex, mankind divided. So we typed it out just so Brian, it'd, it'd be simple to understand, and Brian typed out Devidad or something. Brian can't spell is what we're trying yeah. to say. <laughs> so we carried uh, that joke onto this. And that's also why it's August 24. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's because I put the emphasis on the wrong syllables. So did that put we made the emphasis notice. on the wrong syllables. Uh, <laughs> what else do I have? Oh, if you're anybody that cares, um, which is all of us because and the Fucking cable companies don't know how to run a modern company in entertainment. NBC is now whining that millennials have specifically ruined the Olympics because not enough millennials, which they define as 18 to 49 years old. <laughs> That's two generations, <laughs> that you is fuck two nuggets. <laughs> um, oh god. Wow. Like that's already showing like how wrong they're like, wow, you don't even literally know what you're talking about. <laughs> But um, apparently they're whining that we ruined the Olympics because not enough of us tuned into it. And the re reason there also being that not enough of us are paying for cable TV. Shame I just don't on care. us. I just don't care about the Olympics. I mean, yeah, right. it's well, there's great probably that, that too. Competing uh, I didn't around watch the world too much stuff, of it. But... Well, yeah, I mean, there's always that as well. You know, there's always been people that are just not into the Olympics or, you know, into sporting events. Like, that's always been a thing. But I think, 
I guess now lately it's just because of things like Netflix and I don't know. Well, what, what, so I'll... one of the articles that mentioned this and that brought it up to me actually brought that point up. And the guy, his fiance wanted to watch. So he's like, all right, I'm enough of a tech nerd. And, you know, he's he's a self-promoted wire cutter. One of those guys that, you know, either that has so many terms, whether you're not paying for cable or it just means that you like went totally crazy wireless in your house and everything has a Wi-Fi connection or whatever. But, um, so he's got like the Hulu plus and he has a, um, Netflix subscription, all that. I guess it took him like over an hour logging into various different NBC things, which it, it like, NBC is public television. You can get it for free on the air with an antenna, which is what this guy ended up having to do. And the reception was spotty. And once he got got it, even with the spotty reception in his area, he also had, um, like, it was nothing but ads. And I remember that when I was watching with my parents. It was, like, more ads than there was actual, like, showtime of the Olympics. And... It really just pointed out, like, there was a, I think it was a Bloomberg thing that was actually saying that millennials ruined the Olympics. Um, <laughs> and you could just see them just trying to talk about things and not really knowing what Netflix was or trying to explain Instagram and how BuzzFeed was running the NBC Instagram for the Olympics, trying to, quote, catch the audience. And they're, the people talking about it have no idea... It's like, yeah, the whole reason NBC is losing numbers is because they're one of the archaic companies trying to do traditional methods of broadcasting in a world that has moved on into mm -hmm. the digital internet age. And while they tried to put stuff on the internet, you couldn't access it. You had to have a cable subscription to access it, and then even people that had that had problems logging in or problems getting the feed or the streams were bad quality or there was still ads everywhere or et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, the point we're trying to make to NBC is stop putting fucking ads everywhere on and actually the Olympics. run a, you know, up to date modern platform. Yes. Get with the fucking times. Already, like a was... bunch of the reviewers that are, you know, bashing it is like you know what if you said olympic special no ads live feeds anything you want good stream quality ten dollars people, people would have bought it. it yeah <laughs> hell i but i might have done it had i not been you know trying to keep my life together in the last couple of weeks <laughs> so yeah i wouldn't have bought it because i don't care but yeah yeah i, I mean well, like, i was at a friend's would. house i was at my friend's house uh we were working on some projects together and he wanted to watch el football you know actual soccer and nbc nbc doesn't actually air it <laughs> nbc Seriously? was not airing the finals match of germany against brazil for the gold medal in the Olympics, oh my God. in America, because not enough people apparently care about soccer. They just decided it was an event not worth airing. And I'm like, if you'd put all the events online, because clearly you had, like, the stream we ended up watching had NBC logos on it a few times. Like, okay, clearly you have the footage. Just air it. Like, mm -hmm. God. Uh, so, yeah, we we were getting, like, streams all across the planet from other countries trying to get the stream of the soccer match. And we eventually had to give up because a lot of the streams were shitty quality and his internet was peaking out or something. Damn. I don't know. So, but I mean, it was a good match, what we watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, all in all, I mean, it's just, you know, what, what can you do, right? I mean, it, it's the moving of the times. People are going to lose interest in things, you know, generation, generation after the next one, you know, and it's up to these companies really to stay relevant. So stop your whining. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's Make more noise <laughs> than my fire alarm did. <laughs> I mean, gaming tech community here. We're if you can't keep up with us. Yeah, we're we're, we're leaving you in you the behind. dust. Exactly. You're gonna 360 no scope your faces. Hell yeah! And then teabag you while you're down. <laughs> All the teabagging. <laughs> while you're respawning. Exactly. 
with Yakety Sax in the background. And spawn camp you. Yeah. Like the little bitch you are. Frag video. <laughs> MLG Pro Dubstep. Oh, yeah. Speaking of frag videos, there's been a lot of good plays on the uh, Gamescom Overwatch playoffs. There's a whole tournament going on. It's fucking awesome. Nice. I did not know that it was going on. I didn't either until, like, the Bastion short. Poor Scrawls, Al. He's, like, he's really into the con scene. <laughs> and he is losing his mind over all the updates that are coming out with GamesCon. <laughs> Good and bad. So, to be fair, I'm kind of losing my mind with him on a lot of the stuff that's happening with Elite Dangerous. Cool. Uh, they are talking about the upcoming new updates. That was a lot of redundancy. For um, the fact that there are basically confirmed aliens now in Elite Dangerous. A ongoing side story that has just been kind of a player blurb thing for a while has now actually turned on to full canon. This guy went to go find the aliens in a motherfucking space station and got lost on the other side of a galaxy. <laughs> um, and there are new features like being able to transfer your ships, which is something everybody's been asking for since the beginning of the game, so that you... Because otherwise, if you had multiple ships... They were basically all, except the one you're flying in, going to be docked at the same station. Um, so you had to, like, Chinese fire drill your ships to your preferred station. And then once you changed things out, you basically had to fly back to that station, hop into your other ship, and then fly back out again. Um, and so now you can actually transfer your ships, but apparently it's instantaneous with, like, no recompense or credits or anything. It's just a free action. Okay. And so people are able to move their entire fleets almost instantaneously, and including to this like broken space station outside of the normal playing bubble. And so people are whining that this is. I don't actually care to be honest, but um, people are pointing out that it is kind of game breaking that there's no like timer to do this action or it doesn't cost a huge amount of resources or something from you to do it which i agree probably should be there and probably will be there eventually but it is kind of funny to watch the community like scramble all hands on deck like oh my god broken ah, kill it with fire <laughs> like you assholes asked for this <laughs> they implemented it wrong okay fine but you asked for this don't act like you didn't uh, and No Man's Sky is still getting a lot of hate. I'm actually starting to feel bad for it now. Um, people are making, like, Slash videos of it, and I actually recently discovered that the... Since the launch of the game, and when they delayed the launch a few months back, the, um, studio was getting legitimate death threats in the hundreds. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that happened. That's not cool. Like, who are you to tell any studio or anybody making a product that, especially for just delaying it so that they can polish it more, that you're gonna fucking kill them over it? Yeah, like no, you what, know what the it comes hell? To a point where it's just like, dude, like no, that is just that's so wrong. Like, like it's not even just reordered sorry, you, you it. Need, or... you need, yeah, like you need help. You know, at that point, you need help. Right. I mean, I they can understand at least here. being upset, and at, especially, like, if you gave money towards the program, and if they, like, tried to run away with your money. Okay. Th that happens all the fucking time on, you know, your, like, Steam Workshop, Greenlight, Kickstarters, Indiegogos, GoFundMe, whatever. That shit happens all over the place, and it's in the terms and service that that shit can happen to you. And to be careful when you spend your money, because there, otherwise there would be such a legal nightmare that the world would have nuked itself by now. Mm -hmm. And, like, this is something that was nowhere near that. Like, it was a polished game. We knew it was coming out. There was no, you know, question that it wasn't coming out. And people get death threats over this? Like, what the hell? 
Yeah, yeah, we've gotten that's... death threats for much less. Less, and yeah. If I had a dime for every YouTuber that gotten death threats for seemingly no reason, I'd be rich just... and I wouldn't need a job. I just don't understand it. I don't either, but apparently people get pissy. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Guild Wars 2 patch was so big... Ooh, excuse me. So big and bad that um, they accidentally broke it. And not the patch, yep. but I mean the entire game. Apparently, the bug is that uh, when you receive a soulbound item, which is kind of all the fucking time, um, that it can accidentally get shuffled off to a different character on your account, which is apparently semi-random and unpredictable, and there's even a bigger bug where they can't even undo it properly if that uh, character somehow got it shuffled off into their bank. Um... I don't know how that would have happened. So this was so bad that they actually decided to shut down the game servers until they uh, rolled, rolled back everything. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't think of the term. They rolled back everything and then uh, could fix the bug. It sounds like an off by one error, which if you know anything about computer science is a lot of computer science is about making a loop that you know detects an action and then does something according to it. And loops, by nature, tend to increment, and most often you're incrementing by one. And if you happen to start with the wrong number, or increment one step too far, or one step too less, which is really easy to do once you know programming, it doesn't take much for you to have that happen. And, you know, it stops, you know after something was to happen, but your loop already added an extra number to it, so now you're off by one. And that's where the name of the error comes from, is it's off by one. I'm wondering if that kind of thing just happened, so that it was like your next character in line just got all of your shit instead of the one that you actually had active. But, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I don't know if the servers are back online. That happened yesterday. They are back. They are back online? They were down for a good portion of the day. Gotcha. I also know that that's also the launch of the new mixed map game mode for World vs. World, which is my yes. habitorium. And uh, so now it will be possible to play the desert map and the alpine maps in the same matchup world versus world and supposedly they will shuffle around or at least they'll be the same spot on them on the given global map and as the weekly matchup changes uh then the people that have that particular home base that's in the desert or alpine groups or whatever you know will have that i'm actually really interested to see how it'll work out though because i think that kind of mix up will be pretty cool I just hope yeah. it balances. That's my only concern, because that kind of a mix-up is bound to have a balance problem. Whether it's too defendable or too too attackable. I don't mm. know. Offensible? Is that a thing? Well, defensible is a thing, so why not? I feel like saying offensible is just like, you know, pissing off the bratty rich kid or something. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, those uh. curtains don't match the fucking carpet! <laughs> wow. Fuck, fuck you! <laughs> Why are you looking at a naked woman? I didn't mean to go in that <laughs> direction, but I guess that works. <laughs> hey, he's a rich kid. He could be spending all his money on prostitutes. You never know. Uh. You never know. Well, you know what? The PTR has finished downloading. Oh god. Oh yeah. So I feel like if there's nothing else to say, we should kind of end this because I do want to try it out. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. And, I should uh, actually probably split too because I have to go to fake work. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, guys. So until next time, uh, this has been Brian and we have Dude Run and Shro. And this has been. The did I even mention it was the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast in the beginning? I yes, you did. Yes, okay. you did. Yes, I, I, I know I, I screamed at the beginning. That's you did scream. That was it. awesome. Um, All the clipping. Um, oh, I'm just sure you can find one more thing. One more thing. Nope, nope, nope. What, 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 what? Dro has been diligently working on the IA website behind the scenes. I will post a news thing about it in the near future. 
But one of the things I'm working on is the podcast archive page, which I will launch before the Alpha website. In our normal website, it will become a new page, a new button on the menu when it's at least fleshed up and out enough to function. So be watching for that. If you missed an episode, you don't like YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever, or you just want to watch them all without having to ever change the, you know, web page. For it's you, gonna buddy. It's going to be there. It's going to be. It's going to be. Now we just got to get all these on uh, on uh, iTunes. Oh yeah, somehow. I have no <laughs> idea how to do that. Apparently, it's just an RSS feed thing. It so. really is, yeah. Oh, so, all right. I've done it before with the previous podcasts I've run, but yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get around to doing that. We'll figure it out. Um, indeed, we will. All right, guys. So until then, uh, as Dude Run was saying, everything description below. And until next time, we are the IA Podcast, and we'll see you around. I feel like you guys are singing one song and then you transition to like completely different one. That was great. Please stop me, Dad.